my dock used to look like this, cluttered and messy. Now it looks like this, clean and organized. I fixed it using two apps, Docpilot and Thinker Tools. Docpilot finally lets you group apps in your dock, which surprisingly macOS still doesn't let you do. You can download Docpilot from its Gumroad page using the link in the description. It's completely free, but you can definitely pay a few bucks to support the developer. Once you open Docpilot, the UI is super simple. I already have a few groups created, but if you want to make a new one, enter the group name. This will be the name of your app collection. I will call mine colors since I want to add all my color related apps. Click create folder. Now you can start adding the apps you want into this collection. Instead of searching through finder, you can use spotlight or Alfred to find the apps you want. Then drag and drop them straight into your doc palette group. Do the same for any other apps you want to add. And your new app collection is ready. Now just click add to doc and boom. It's instantly added to your doc. By default, it'll look something like this, but you can easily change how it looks and opens. Here's one of the group I made earlier for my Adobe apps, and it looks like this. If you want yours to look the same, right click on the group, under display as, choose stack. It just looks cleaner. And if you wanted it to open like this, instead of a grid, just go to view content as, and switch it to fan. And it just looks much better. If you want to remove it from your dock, just right click on it and go to options, remove from dock. That will remove it from dock, but it will still show up inside dock pilot. Right now dock pilot does not have a direct delete option, so it's a quick workaround. Open spotlight, search for dock pilot folders, no space, and open the folder in finder. You'll see all the groups there. Just delete the one you want to remove. So I'll delete the colors folder. Now go back to dock pilot. If it still shows up, just hit the refresh button or restart the app and it will be removed. Now that we have grouped our apps in the dock, we can make it even cleaner by adding some space between sections. For this, we'll use a handy little tool called Tinker Tool. Link is in the description. Just download the app from their website, drag it into applications folder. Once it's open, head over to the dock tab, find the spacing section and set it to one by two. Then hit insert and boom, you'll see a blank space appear in your dock right after the finder. You can easily drag and move the spacer any way you want. And if you even want to remove it, just right click, remove from dock and it's gone. You can also add a wider space by choosing one, but I personally think that looks a bit too empty. So I prefer using one by two. That's it for this video. Hopefully your Mac dock looks a lot cleaner and more organized now. If this helped, smash that like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.